St. Patrick's Day is a holiday, celebrated on March 17 each year. It is the feast day of Ireland's patron saint, Patrick. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated, in Ireland and all over the world by the people of Irish heritage. It has become a celebration, of Irish culture. St. Patrick was actually born in Britain in 387, during the time Britain was occupied, by the Roman Empire. His parents named him Padraig. He came from a family of priests. One day, when Padraig was 16 years old, he was kidnapped by raiders from Ireland. They took him back to Ireland as a slave, where he was forced to tend to sheep. Though Padre came from a Christian family, he found that there were no Christians in his new home. The people in Ireland practiced a different religion. Patrick was lonely, so he decided to pray. When Padre was 20, he had a dream that he believed came from God. Based on his dream, he escaped from his captors and made it to the sea. There, he found a ship captain who agreed to take him back to Britain. When, he arrived back in Britain he reunited with his family. He also decided that he wanted to be a priest, so he began to study. Padraig studied for many years. He became a priest, and then was made a bishop. He decided to return to Ireland to tell people there about what he believed. Padraig, now called Patrick, worked in Ireland for 40 years, telling people about God. Some say that he converted all of Ireland to Christianity. It is said that by converting the Irish to Christianity, he drove the snakes from the island. One of the important symbols of St. Patrick's Day is the shamrock, or three-leaf clover. Patrick used the shamrock to help people understand God. Patrick died on March 17, 461, after spending many years helping people and sharing his beliefs all over Ireland. He died in the same place he had built his first church, Today, St. Patrick's Day is as much as a celebration of Irish culture, as celebration of Patrick himself. People of Irish heritage all over the world wear green clothes, and shamrocks on March 17. Many people also eat a traditional Irish meal of, corned beef, cabbage, potatoes and soda bread. In Ireland, most people go to church in the morning. In the United States, there are many people with Irish heritage. Their ancestors moved to the U.S. during the Irish potato famine. So there are many special celebrations of St. Patrick's Day in the United States. Each year during St. Patrick's Day, the city of Chicago even dyes the Chicago River green. The fountain on the lawn of the White House gets dyed green too. Many cities also have parades. Did you know that the first St. Patrick's Day parade ever took place in New York City in 1762? Other symbols of Irish culture have also become associated with St. Patrick's Day, like the leprechaun. A leprechaun is a magical person from Irish folk tales. It is said if you can catch a leprechaun, he has to give you his pot of gold. Here are 10 things you might not know about St. Patrick's Day. Traditionally, every year, the Irish leader hands a crystal bowl full of shamrocks to the US president. St. Patrick was originally associated with the color blue. Corned beef and cabbage is a St. Patrick's Day staple. Chicago started dyeing its river green in 1962. The first year used 100 pounds of dye. The odds of finding a four-leaf clover are about a one in every 10,000. St. Patrick was born in England and was once a slave. St. Patrick used the shamrock as a metaphor for the Holy Trinity when he was first introducing Christianity to Ireland. 13 million pints of Guinness will be consumed worldwide. St. Patrick's name was originally Mawin Sucket. St. Patrick is said to have been buried in Downpatrick, County Down, in Northern Ireland. 